representing an organization affiliated to the Council of Europe, European Center of Human Rights, just 200 meters from here. And I'm having an observation and also a question or suggestion. Uh, we thank the Council of Europe for organizing this forum, I think since 2012, and it helps uh, civil society organizations to meet together, networking, and I'm very happy about the topic we are treating in this lab, that is building peace and democracy across borders. And my observation is that we've had a lot of challenges from different countries, and which has helped us to understand what is going on in various countries. But maybe we can go further. How? Because we are not living, the world is, is, is like a village. We are, no one is living in a vacuum. And what is happening in the country could be solved by how other people observe, how we look, how we entertain it through the media, for instance, our journalists, how we, we publish false information or, 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 or fake information. And also, how can we build the peace and democracy in such countries? Maybe uh, we can uh, empower uh, civil society organizations. Most of them are here. Um, in order to give them the power uh, to participate in their decision making in their country. The more civil society organizations are diverse and powerful in their country, they can um, uh, broadcast, they can send information. They can participate in various forums and change the mindset. They can change the mindset locally, whether in Africa or in Ukraine, and then they will become powerful. So uh, the, the rich countries uh, in the world or the powerful institutions like the European Union or the Council of Europe, United Nations, how are we empowering the various non-governmental organizations, various civil society organizations? I think that would be uh, the best tool to build peace and democracy across borders. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much.